As he plants rice on his grandmother's land, Nope Juckert is seeing his farm struggle to make ends meet. The livelihood of his five employees are in the balance. The price of rice is down and the farm is not getting the money it was promised from the government. Payment is supposed to come through a rice program set up by the ruling party which guarantees above market prices. A flagship program of Prime Minister Yingluck Shinawat's government. It helped her get elected in 2011. But despite his struggles, Nope Jackert still supports the party and blames the anti-government protesters for blocking the government from doing its job. I have not gotten my money and the protest leader Su Tep just keeps going on marches. Because of the protests, the government doesn't have the money to pay us. But it's more than just the protesters. The rice subsidy program has been losing billions of dollars. Unable to sell all its rice, Thailand has stockpiled nearly double one year's exports, 18 million tons. This has created a financial drain, which is why the farmers have not been paid. While the government and the protesters are face to face on the streets of Bangkok, those who work in the fields here in the pro-government north are angered by this political change the protesters are trying to force, but they're not threatened by them. Teep Panyajan is a community leader for the ruling Pew Thai party. He's also a rice farmer. He thinks the protesters are wrong and says there needs to be an election soon. I think if there's an election, it would make the current situation better. The majority of people want an election. It's the way of democracy. The failing rice program cost Thailand the spot as the world's top rice exporter. But the non-payment is also costing some votes. Farmers outside the ruling party stronghold are angry and are protesting. But they're not enough to tip the scales. The ruling party still has a huge edge for the elections. So for now, supporters like Nope Jackard are sticking with the prime minister and the ruling party. Even if the anti-government protesters hundreds of kilometers to the south are vowing to stay put until the government resigns. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Sankampong, Thailand.